I'll start with Sean Cunningham. Hello, hello. Good morning, Bogey. Um, good to see you. Just uh, curious, very, how ready are you guys to take on the Spurs and just what kind of expectations do you have kind of going into that game? And uh, we are pretty ready. We had a good week of practices, good week of games, scrimmage games, and uh, we get all, all guys back. Uh, so that's what is really important to us, and um, I think we are ready mentally and physically. Thanks. Uh, James Ham. Hey, Bogey, what is the expectations of this team, and what, what is encouraging you behind the scenes that makes you think that you guys have a shot? And there is a lot of on the line, and uh, as I said, uh, personally, I'm, I'm pretty motivated. Uh, we know we, we, we have a pretty good opportunity to reach that nine, nine seed, you know, and uh, uh, at least to give it a shot uh, for the playing tournament. Uh, um, I mean, we should all be motivated for this. It's uh, one unique chance to, uh, to play in this bubble and it's going to be hard uh, like for everyone else. But, uh, you know, the, the most mentally ready team and physically we were will, uh, um, you know, at the end win and uh, qualify. Thanks. Marshall Harris. Hey, uh, <clears throat> Bogey, you, you've had uh, some real big success in, in tournament style play. A lot of people are looking at this as a tournament situation. Can you see the parallels there? And what is it about your mentality that changes, if anything, when you're in a situation like this where it's not just typical regular season? Um, I think players are more uh, ready and locked in because it's uh, it's a lot more on the line right now, you know, and uh, it's getting closer to the end of the season and uh, uh, getting qualified for for playoffs. And uh, you know, you were working hard whole year to for, for these games, you know, for these type of games. And at the end of the day, it will be uh, everything for, will fall down in one game, you know. Uh, and we got to be ready to play one game at, at, at a time before one day, one game comes, you know. So uh, nothing else. My experience, uh, as I said, the most uh, mentally ready and physically ready team will uh, will have best best shots. Thank you, Jason Jones. Hey, Bogey. Uh, just how has how crazy the season has been for you guys between the injuries and all the lineups you guys had to go through prepared you all for this, you know, unique situation to get into the playoffs? I mean, injuries are part of the sports, you know, and um, when someone when someone got hurt, you know, uh, that's opportunity for other guys, you know, and that's that's how they that's how everyone's supposed to think, you know, and uh, of course, we need every every single of of, 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 of bodies and, and players. But uh, you know, uh, if someone you know is not ready and he, he can't play because of his injuries, you know, it's a good opportunity and uh, uh, for, for other players. So that's how I was always thinking when I was in those situations, you know. So, uh, but right now we are, as far as what, what I know, we are except Marvin, you know, which he, he was an unlucky injury, you know, twist the ankle, everyone can twist the ankle, you know, and, and practice and step on someone's foot after jumping, you know, and uh, it can happen to everybody. So uh, that's one of the injuries, you know, it's, it goes to bad luck. So uh, we are without him, uh, but, um, you know, someone, someone has to step up and uh, we got pretty good piece, uh, Dequan, you know, and, and Belly in that spot. HB is there. He can play that base a little bit. So I think uh, we have a lot of guys that can step up, yeah. you know. All right, last one, Jay. Got to go quick. Sorry. Hey, Bogey. Good to see you. Um, hey, when you look at yourself and De'Aaron and Belly, uh, even Kyle Guy, uh, what is your, your assessment of the hair situation on this basketball team now? Uh, I don't understand the question. Okay, you Sorry. guys, you you grew out the hair. Belly grew out the hair. De'Aaron cut his oh, hair. Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this Corona time got us, I think. So, 
uh, our barbers were, were closed and De'Aaron took his own uh, clippers and cut it, cut it thing down. So I, I think he, he woke up one morning and he was like, oh, I'm done with this thing. So I, I, I got to cut it off. Um, Belly, Belly used to have a long hair. I did it when I was eighth grade, I think, uh, the last time. And um, after that, it wasn't that popular. So one, right now we are bringing it back. <laughs>